After doing a lot of eating, <laughs> I have a lot of hearts. And I'm gonna find out if I can survive this, and this, and who knows, with a billion hearts, maybe even this. But to start off with, we only have one heart. And I'm gonna need some food if I want to double that. You know what, I'm just gonna punch this chicken until I get food. Now I've just realized I need to get hungry before I can eat it. Okay, we can. Let's eat the chicken. And we're on two hearts. I don't think punching animals is gonna be the best way for me to get more health though. There's some stone here, so we should mine that up. Perfect, now I can get a better pickaxe. I reckon I should get 12 cobblestone here. Then I can make an axe, a shovel, and a furnace. And we're gonna need a lot of coal as well because we're gonna be doing a lot of cooking. And then I can mine four more logs and craft a smoker. Perfect. You'll see here from a balanced diet that there are 39 different foods to eat. My goal is to eat every single one. So a raw pork chop is going to count as another one, but if I then eat another raw pork chop, my health doesn't go up because I've already eaten that. I have already eaten a chicken, but if I cook the chicken and eat that, that will count as a brand new food that I haven't yet eaten. And now I'm in pursuit of more pigs. Let's get you, and then I can get cooking. I feel like getting more wood is going to be a good idea, because the last thing I want to do is not have enough to keep smelting. I feel like using coal to smelt one item just isn't worth it. Let's eat this, and there we go. We're on 16 hearts. There's a rabbit over there. <laughs> It's one of the foods, guys. I'm so sorry. Let's get you. He's a speedy little fellow. I can't get him. Oh my god. Hey, I didn't do- Whoa. <laughs> hey, he jumped off that cliff by himself. That was never in, in my intention to see him die. I was just going to pet him. Well, raw rabbit counts as one thing. Oh my goodness, I already have 32 hearts. And then this cooked rabbit is going to give me 64 hearts. Don't ask where I got the rabbit from. I feel like to make more progress now, I should try and find a village. And already we've eaten six different foods. I haven't found a village, but I have found iron. I feel like I've got to take it. There's some more over here as well. And I think I'm going to need more cobblestone because I'm going to need to make another furnace. And now I can smelt some iron. Shame I can't eat that as well. The iron has finally smelted. Let's mine that up. The sun is starting to set. I definitely need to find a way to sleep. Oh, but look at all this iron. Oh, this look. I can't say no to all of this. I just remembered. Fish. They count. How could I forget about fish? Let's eat this. 128 hearts. And I've got some shears so I can quickly get the wool. Then make a bed and go to sleep. What? Wait, what? Why did my health just go to my... I woke up and my health went to full. Well... That's not bad. A good night's sleep really gets your health back. Is that a feature of Minecraft? I'm guessing it's a feature of the data pack, which is pretty handy. I'd have never have healed all that way. Now we can eat some raw mutton. 256 hearts. I can set this salmon cooking as well. Might as well smell iron while I'm at it too. Sorry, sheep, but I'm hungry. And now when I do a bit of munching, this is going to get me to 1,000 health. You can't even see me now. A cow has been spotted. In fact, three. You'll see now that my health still goes up. It does actually go up, but visually, it will not go past 512 hearts. And since it's taken up so much of the screen, I'm going to make my GUI slightly smaller so I can still get to millions of health, but they're not going to show. That's just the way Minecraft works. A raw beef is cooked. Let's eat this steak. 4,000 hearts. And I hear a zombie. I'm looking for him. Here he is. Let's take him out. In fact, there's two of them. Nothing like a bit of rod and flesh. Not the tastiest thing in the world, but I now have 8,000. And up ahead, there's a village and some lava right by it. That's going to be very useful. And a dark oak forest for free mushrooms. I'm going to get a lot of health, guys. First, I must steal their wheat. Let's make some bread. We're now on 16,000 hearts. And now I can steal the rest of the hay. Is that a ruined portal in the distance? Imagine if it has a notch apple, because that's going to be the hardest one to get. I think that's the last of it. wonder what crops this guy's going. Beetroot? Oh, I do need beetroot, actually. Perfect. This guy's willing to trade me some wheat. Then his upgrade will give me apples. Let's munch on that. 32,000 hearts. I'm going to upgrade him a little bit more, actually. And now he's going to give me some cookies. This is basically the eating show with SP. We're in doing that we got 65,000. I want to see what's at the ruin portal. First of all, I want to grab this gold and this one right here as well. Oh, okay. That was very close. And what do we got? No food. Are you kidding me? Although the mending boots are pretty nice. And I don't need a clock to tell me that it's nighttime. Although before I sleep, I'd like to find a spider. Spider eyes might not taste very good, but in eating one of these, I'll get over 100,000 health. Let's give it a munch. All right, creeper, just stand, stand back. Yes, we have 131,000. Shame I can't eat some horse meat. I could also do with string for a fishing rod. And bones for bone meal. Look at these guys thinking you can take me out. I have so much health, you have no idea. Although, to be fair, I do need to do a lot of regening to get there. Once I get five bones, I will call it a day. Or should I say, I'll call it a night. <laughs> and now that I've slept, it regened me right up. I may be peppered with arrows, but I'm sitting here with 130,000 hearts. I truly feel indestructible. But we're not stopping there. I'm pretty sure it's possible to get over a billion, which sounds like a good plan to me. So if we eat this mushroom stew, 260,000. Now, does suspicious stew work different? 520,000. And over there is a swamp. And I'm going to show you a very cool trick to get diamonds very easily. First of all, we need to turn on trunk borders. This next bit can sometimes depend on the seed, but if I go to the center of this clay, and this works for any clay patch, and build across seven blocks, and then dig down right about here, I should dig straight to diamonds. Oh my goodness, I nearly just dug straight into lava there. That would have been not what I was going for. Gone through a mine shaft. We're just going to uh, patch that up there. I'm at level 14 and I'm starting to get a bit worried that it didn't work. Oh wait, it did work. That's the first time I've ever tried that, guys. 
and it worked. Look at all these diamonds. As you can imagine, this is a pretty OP strat. I will link the video that I saw this on down in the description. It's by a guy called Matthew Boland. He is incredibly talented, super smart guy, but I am extremely, extremely impressed. You know, that was so fun. I'm going to do it again. This is the right spot. Oh. It's all right, I got loads of health. I don't need to be able to MLG. I don't go all the way down and it didn't work, guys. The shape of the clay determines how high up the diamonds are going to be. That one's quite big. This one's the perfect size. Let's do it with this one instead. This one didn't work either, but it's because it's near a chunk border. It probably went to the other side of the chunk. Here we go. It was at the other side of the chunk. See, I'm still learning this, guys. I've still got uh, a bit of research to do into it, but I do kind of understand how it works. Whoa. Okay, that barely did a dent to my health, but... <laughs> I've got to be more careful. I was about to say, if I find diamonds down here, I'll have enough for full... Uh, oh, hold on. We need a new pickaxe. Might as well make a diamond one. And there we go. We were literally right on the diamonds. Pretty easy. I also see gold right there. Probably worth grabbing. The clay can be used to find other ores, by the way. But obviously, for me, diamonds are the one that I want the most. And right here are the final diamonds that I'm going to get. Make a chest plate, some leggings, and a helmet. Looking very nice. I'll keep the gold boots because they're going to be useful if I go to a bastion. Let's also get some sleep so we can get full health. Who'd have thought the swamps were going to be this OP? It also works in rivers, but the amount of blocks you build across is slightly different. This beehive is full of honey. Let's smelt some sand. I just realized I was mining gold. At least I have blocks of gold. But with that, I can make a golden apple, some glass bottles. Let's first eat the gapple. Our health has gone up to... 1 million! We did it! I feel like I should also make a campfire so I don't upset the bees. But with these glass bottles, I can get a bottle of honey. And with that, I can drink it. And we're on 2 million now. Let's also make a fishing rod. This next bit's very exciting. And we got a... Oh, we actually got a rare fish. Tropical fish are hard to come by. Perfect, a cod. And a finally a puffer fish. Wait, does milk count as another food? Let's have a look. No, it doesn't. Useless. Also, I pretty much just showed you how to x-ray for diamonds in vanilla Minecraft. You should definitely subscribe to me for that. Let's bone meal this beetroot. Turns out you can eat beetroot. We're on 4 million hearts. I think it's about time I went to to the nether. Place that there. I'm trying to think, is there any food in the nether that I can get? Might as well eat this puffer fish while I can. <laughs> Get it out of the way. I don't really like all these effects it gives you. And when I eat this tropical fish, we'll be on 16 million. The raw cod, 32 million. And finally, the cooked cod for 64 million. That is pretty insane. 64 million health and there I am wearing full diamond armor. Might as well take this golem out with me bare hands. Not many people can take hits from golems and survive. There we go, defeated. Just needed that for a flint and steel. And to the nether we go. From what I can tell, there are no new foods in the nether that I haven't already eaten. So instead the quest is to find a fortress or a bastion and get out of here. And a fortress has been spotted. Let's get in, get the blazes and get out. Here we are. I'm not even worried about taking damage because I've got all the health in the world and I now have all the blaze rods. Now I could try and find a bastion or I could just trade with this guy. You've got 16 gold. Please give me the pearls. And look at that. Some ender pearls. In fact, more. It might be enough, you know. Soul speed three. I'm taking that. And 12 pearls. We're going with that. I think there's a warped forest on the way back. That was a bad idea. Good job, I've got loads of health. And I was about to say that I can use that to take out Enderman to get extra Ender Pearls. I never did come across the Warped Forest, but I've found my portal. I guess 12 Pearls will just have to do. And it's night time, so let's get some sleep. And now I need to chop down a lot of trees. Then I can get a load of planks, grab a bit of flint, and then I can make a fletching table, trade sticks with this guy, buy cookies to upgrade this farmer, and all he sells was Suspicious Jew. I was hoping for cake. I'm guessing I have to upgrade him again. Let's just buy the Suspicious Jew. This better not be a troll. Please be good stuff. Wait, it was the good stuff. If I place down these three beds, then ring this bell and punch these three villagers. They should then summon in a golem. I don't think it worked. Instead, I'm going to have to mine for it like a peasant. There we go. Smelt that in here. The reason I'm doing that is because this axe is practically broken. This new axe, on the other hand, is much better. And it's back to tree chopping. And now I can craft more planks and more sticks and get trading by a couple more suspicious stew. And he has upgraded to give me golden carrots. That's good enough for me. There's another type of food and when I'm hungry, I will eat it. Now let's see which way we're going to the stronghold. That way. Grabbing these beds might be a good idea too. But when I eat this carrot, how much health is it going to give me now? Is that a billion? No, it was 134 million. Pretty big number, but not big enough. I'm on a body of water. I'm looking for an ocean. Now when I see clay in a swamp, I don't just see clay. I see a lot of diamonds, but now's not the time. Looks like it is an ocean up ahead. I've spotted a shipwreck and some ruins. What we got here? Nothing much. What about this one? Still useless. Is this one any better? I want potatoes and carrots. And this shipwreck isn't much better because it doesn't have the chest. But there's another one over there. This one looks better. We've got carrots. We've got potatoes. This is what we need. So if I eat a carrot now, we have 200 million hearts. Let's set one potato cooking and eat this raw one. That will give me 500 million. This is for a billion hearts. Okay. One. In fact, it reached infinity. The game cannot track health 
higher than that. The number's just too big. I think now we can stop eating and hunt down the ender dragon. Look at this exposed ocean stronghold. Now that's the dream. I'm just gonna nip into here and now I wanna try and track down the library. Can a creeper kill me if it blows? Even at point blank range, the creepers can't defeat me. Another ender pearl could be handy. And another pearl. And finally the bookcase room. I can use these cobwebs to get string. Turns out this suspicious stew was poisonous. That farmer's done me dirty. And I can use that string to make wool and then make more beds from that. Oh man, an entire... Oh my god. Okay. We're all right. We have loads of help. Why am I scared? I was going to say, an entire ravine has spawned in between the stronghold. Because I've got beds everywhere, I messed up my hotkeys. And here is the portal room. Let's chuck in the eyes. I... Wait, I threw the last one. Oh my god, those stupid silverfish. I think it dropped, but I'm going to have to go up here now. There we go. Just a minor setback. Now let's head to the end. I've got a sneaky suspicion that there's a bit of a bug with this data pack as well. Whilst it says I have a lot more health, it says I have billions of health. If I jump down here... I lose a heart. So unless it's a visual bug in Minecraft, or I actually only have 512 hearts, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. But let's just get this dragon defeated. Well, I just fell, but I survived. Here he's perching. Right, let's not mess this up. I'm going to mess it up already, aren't I? Where's B? You got this. That's it. Uh, that's it. Come on, one more. I messed that up. I, I, I pre... Three blew it up. Now I have to manually break the towers. Other one down. I'm just gonna pearl to that tower. Okay, I shouldn't stand right next to that and blow it up, should I? Well, where's my water gone? No water, no blocks. What's happening? What a time for the water bucket glitch. Really, I'm using every bit of health I've got here. All towers gone using only a water bucket. Now I'm just gonna stand in fire and see how long I last. And dragon's breath too. Well, well, I survived this. Armor? Armor's for casuals. Okay, now my health is going down so, so fast. Probably can't risk it too much. The dragon's here. It's covered in dragon's breath. I'm just gonna have to take the risk here and go for it. Whoa, he hit me in the air. What's what's going on here? Now let's get rid of some of his health. How to deal with an enderman that you accidentally looked at. Just keep looking at him. He can't move then. He's completely frozen. And if you hit him while you look at him, he still can't move. And there we go. Mission accomplished.